<clears throat> Instead, whilst I'm in here, I'll show you the, the shots again. Don't forget the silicone tube on the line to stop the crimping yeah. of the line. Okay? Yeah. And if you notice, the bulk is actually all under the float, and just a uh, smaller shot locking it above it. Okay? Our shotting pattern then is a, is a two drop shot method. One roughly half the way down. Okay? Mm -hmm. Second, then I would say 18 inches from out. Yeah. Yeah. One thing to bear in mind when you do shot floats, <clears throat> always make sure that the second shot up from the last one is greater distance than the hook. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you have the shot, say for example, round about there, there's a chance that when you cast out, it could catch on the shot. <laughs> Okay, always remember that. Okay, so that shot needs to come down. Another little tip as well, sometimes when this because of this drag, we'll see how the you know, the swim develops now. What we'll possibly do is probably put another shot just a couple inches above the hook. Just well that will slow it down from moving through the swim. The fish might prefer a more stationary bait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, cast again. There we go. Don't forget, up and around in one in one action. There, feather it, so shot goes out. Tip, that's correct, quickly, okay, because the line will cut through the water quicker. Sometimes it will tip it to flick it once or twice. Put it down. I notice you feed very regularly, it's called a cast and feed, cast and feed. Yes, it is. Uh, <clears throat> that's the only way that you, you can really build this one up. 